Praise the Lord. Today we are reading Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. Habakkuk 2, verse 1. I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am corrected. The prophet Habakkuk in chapter 1, he's a man who was wandering and wrestling. He couldn't understand how God would use the Chaldeans, the Babylonians, who are more wicked to punish the Israelites. But then he decides to, to go up and seek God about the issue. You know? and, and possibly that is where we are, where we are. We have a lot of questions. We are wrestling with situations. We are wondering why this is happening, why this is not happening. Like what, what if like Habakkuk, we took time to seek God? And, and, and looking at Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1, I find three components of seeking God. And component number one is determination. Determination. He says, I will stand my watch. It doesn't say, I wish. It doesn't say, I might. It doesn't say, when I get a convenient time. It doesn't say, next week, I will see God. He, he, he says, I will stand. I'm going to stand my watch. I'm going to seek God. I'm going to look for God concerning this matter, concerning whatever I'm going through. And determination is key when it comes to seeking God. In Jeremiah 29 and verse 13, the Lord himself, he says, you shall seek me and find me when you shall search me with all your heart. Because God is hiding. Proverbs 25 verse 2. Proverbs 25 verse 2. It is the glory of God to hide a matter. But it is the glory of kings to search it out. And Isaiah 45 verse 15, Isaiah 45 15, God says, truly you are God who hides himself. And God hides himself. And this kingdom and this journey does not demand intentions. It demands actions. We must take a stand. Like Habakkuk, we must be determined to seek God. So number one, we see that determination as a virtue, as a component of seeking God. Number two, separation. Number two, separation. He says, and set myself on the rampart, you know, and set myself. I'm going to separate myself. And in seeking God, isolation is a component. Isolation is very key. At times, you will need to leave the crowd. You know, you need to put your phone aside. You need to, 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 to come out of distractions because there are many voices, and at many times, they are hindering us from hearing the voice of God. If you look at Jesus... Like in Mark chapter 1, verse 35, would wake up early in the morning. When, when is the other disciples are still the disciples are still sleeping? And he would go seek God. He would separate himself in time early in the morning to go seek God. Other times, like at Gethsemane, he went away, a throne, a stone, you know, a stone cast away. Separation is also key. And finally, number three, expectation. Determination, isolation, or separation expectation or anticipation. He says there in verse 1, Habakkuk chapter 2, and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am corrected. He says, I have this expectation that God will speak to me. And when you come to God and you are seeking God, you must do it with faith. There are many things you can do apart from faith, but there, is, there, and there, there are many things you can do, but none apart from faith. There, there's many things you can do, but none apart from faith. Bible says, whatever is not of faith is seen. And in Hebrews 11 verse 6, you know, he that, uh, uh, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For, for he that comes to God must believe that he is and is a rewarder of they that diligently seek him. So, so we need faith in seeking God. If we will get the answers, if the doors, doors will open, if things will work out for us, faith is a component expectation. We must come seeking God and as we seek him, we seek him that is going to establish us, that is going to bless us, that is going to answer us. Looking at Habakkuk, he came with a pen and a paper because in verse 2, God said to Habakkuk, write the vision down. He didn't say to God, let me go look for a pen first or a paper because he came with expectation. He came with anticipation. He came expecting that God will answer him. So in seeking God, do it with determination, do it with isolation, separation, and do it with expectation. The Lord bless you.